What is up, everybody? Welcome to Animalica. My name is Wolfert, and I've been watching this game for a while, and I decided to finally play it. It looks very interesting. It's a bit of a survival game where you're going around, and you're supposed to be saving animals from a disease. But you get to do things in your own kind of way, which I think is really cool. Played a little bit of it. Got it, uh... I think I've kind of got the basics. The very, very basics down. <laughs> So, beyond the starter area, there's not much that I know. So, we'll go ahead and give this game a shot. So we're going to go ahead and jump into a new game. By the way, there is a little bit of an audio click. Whenever I scroll too fast through things, I don't know what that is. So, let's go ahead and jump into a new game. This is going to take a minute to load. I will see you guys when we get there. And here we are. So... July 1st, 2030. Hey, that's not too far from now. It has been five years since I was stranded out here and almost ten years since Earth became Dr. Moore's playground of horrors. These five years of I have been searching for a cure to Dr. Moore's plague and I think I have finally made a major breakthrough. The key ingredient for the cure is in the new glowing mushrooms that have miraculously started to spawn all around the world. As excited as I am with this good news, there is also bad news. I haven't heard from my colleagues at the main base in weeks, and I'm running really low on supplies, so it's time to grab everything I can and head to our land base. With a little luck, maybe I can cure a couple of animals and gather some healthy plants on my way. Find out what happened to my colleagues, get supplies, send a few dozens of abominations back to hell, and be back for dinner. Let's give it a shot! So, this is where we start off. UI is a little bit goofy. We are a girl as well. Well, inventory take a minute to load. We are a girl as well. We do have a, an actual character model. So, we've got a lot of little things we can go around and collect. There's also some paper up here. Yeah. Did I collect that? I did not. There we go. Got some paper here. We want to collect everything we can here. Because once we leave here, we cannot come back. So if we leave anything behind here, it is gone forever. Also, I like these doors. Oh my god, the tutorial things made me jump. There's actually nothing to attack you in this area, so you don't have any worries. Uh, there is some cool little stuff that you can do, like you can sprint. Uh, okay, that's not such a cool thing, but hey, you get the idea. There's cool things you can do around here. Get some coins. 20 gold. There is a little bit of a world to explore outside, which... We can take a step out there in a minute. There's nothing out there. This game is still in early access, so things may change. Things may not change. I uh, believe that is the way we want to go later. Yeah, this way. So we can go right now. So not everything has stuff in it. Uh, we get two of these guys, which I've never found the tools, the stuff there for. There's shotgun upgrade kit. I've never been able to get to shotguns, don't know how to make them, don't know where they are, don't know anything about them. And, let's hear her voice. This is a nice find. They sure are. I don't know what her name is, but her voice might get a little annoying after a while. <laughs> but we'll bear with it. She seems kind of cool. So I don't think there's much of anything in these ones. There's a toolbox here that I'm going to collect. We'll be needing that. So I have found in just my short, like, I don't know, three or four hours that I was playing, running around, doing little things. I have found a, found a couple of problems. <laughs> and uh, I'll show you one that is here before we even leave this place. Before we even leave the starter area and actually start playing the game. Now, you'll notice the doors open like that to the sides, right? But we don't really don't have anything else to collect down here. This end of the building is done. But take a look outside. Looks really nice. There is an oil rig over there. You can actually swim all the way out to the oil rig and explore a little bit. There's nothing there. <laughs> I've already been out there. I've looked around. There is nothing there. Yes. Remember how those doors work. Remember that. Now, if we run back this way, we can go this side. 
There's a couple of rooms here where we can get some key stuff. In here, not so much. Got some paint. And a vice. I don't think there's anything in these. Oh, we need this. Matches. Gotta have matches. And across the hall, we have... These are the important items. We have some glowing mushrooms called Nature's Touch and Nature's Gift. Doors, stop that. We also have some taming potions and some cure potions. Those will be very important. Now, so far, nothing else around here can be interactable. That Those need a trigger or something. So that if they're already open, they don't open again. <laughs> I feel like that'd be like two lines of code. This is a nice find. That it is. Um, actually, I could probably ask my brother how many lines of code that is. He'd probably know. Let's see. Uh, nothing else around here, really. Got a little room here that doesn't have anything in it. At least not right now. That's gonna bug me with the doors. There's nothing really over here. A couple energy drinks. But for the most part, we have finished collecting everything we're gonna collect. We have a ship that's ready to take us away from this... From this, uh, base. We are going to hop up here, and this is where I say that you should remember how those doors work. It's our last key item that we're going to collect. Compound bow and tranquilizer arrows. Now, if the devs ever see this, they might want to fix this before the final release, but, uh... That's not how these doors are supposed to work. <laughs> and it does that on both sides. You can get out, but that's not how they're supposed to work. <laughs> now we can actually yeah. like hop the rail and explore a little bit. There's nothing to explore here. There are actual coconuts on the tree. You can't collect them. I tried. There is absolutely nothing outside the base to see except sights. It all looks nice and interesting. Got an okay skybox with changing clouds. Looks pretty good to me. Uh, the trees actually do respond to the wind. The waves as well. And besides that, the game looks nice. Yeah. And I did not need to do that. Okay, there's a ship uh, over here is a way we can get back in. <laughs> I shouldn't have jumped out like that, but... Yeah. There we go. And now we're back over here. Let's go ahead and run over. So, we're actually done here. There's nothing else we can do. There's no interactions. There's no nothing. So now, that noise is going to get so annoying. There are these cool tree things. I have no idea what these are. They look amazing, and I kind of want a miniature one in a jar. So now, come over here. It's going to tell us, leave the facility. Now we're heading to the land base, which is going to be on the mainland. Uh, saving data. After you captured an animal, you will need to treat it at the medical bay in the laboratory. Hmm, okay, good to know. So yeah, as of right now, we can never go back to that place. Not without starting a new game. So, if you ever reach this point, make sure you've collected everything you possibly can in that place. Because you are done there. Anything you leave behind is gone forever. And here we are with a little bit of a lag spike. We have crashed. <laughs> yeah, that's our character. She's a redhead. And she is covered in blood. So obviously we are not a good pilot. Now I did click the skip tutorial button. It gets rid of all the tutorial messages and everything. But I believe it also gets rid of all the story messages as well. So they might want to adjust that. Um, so it does make some comment about how uh, this area is uh, not too far from the one of the basic operations. Now there's a lot of stuff to collect around here. I'm not going to collect all of it in one go. I am going to collect uh, important items here and there, such as some of the scrap metal sticks, this hardwood, which we're going to need. And I'll grab some berries. 
there is going to be only this one and there's some rope at each of these barrels that I need and I think that is about everything here I think I might be wrong here uh, I, th I think that's about it I need one more hardwood. Ah, here we go. Now, you can craft stuff, as with pretty much any <laughs> survival. Two things we need are a stone axe and a stone pickaxe. Get those on there. Great looking stone axe. I forgot I can collect bones. Now, I'll come back here off camera and just collect all the stuff, but like you can see there's a bar underneath the pot bar at the bottom. That is your progress meter. I think that's a little bit of a strange way to do it, but I also think it cleans up the interface a little bit. Uh, ooh, arrows. Yeah, I need those. Ooh, fox! Uh, another thing I want to do is... Hello? <laughs> I broke it! As usual. There we go. <laughs> okay. Line that up. Now, you can... You can change your arrows. I think right now... Yeah, we have standard arrows equipped. I can change to tranquilizers if I want. I uh, don't know where he just disappeared to, but that's fine. We're not going to use that anytime soon. Oh, hi. Now, here we have some graves. Don't know who they are. Let's go. Like I said, I'm going to come back through. I'll come collect all the important stuff later on. I'm just going to collect some little random things here and there. Because otherwise, our inventory is going to get completely filled up. And, yeah, we're going to have a problem. Can I take this? No. I'll take the eggs, though. Bunnies! Dead deer thing. Those oh, sound effects. What do we get off that? We got some raw meat, animal hide, and animal fat. I forgot to mention one key thing about chopping wood with these ax with the axe. These trees, if they have leaves on them, you cannot chop them. It gives you these sparks. You can only chop the dead trees. And it'll, it'll give you the message about chopping down, uh, cutting down dead trees. Now, it doesn't fall over or anything. It just kind of gives you the logs. Which I think is a little bit cheap, but understandable. Now, I do know... Right, I forgot there's one of those by the ship. I'll have to go get rid of that later. This guy out. Now, we actually want to kill him. So, there are beasts on the world that you cannot cure. This is one of them. And this is what most of them look like. You can also, if you're good, keep your arrows by recollecting them from the dead body. I have no idea where my other arrow hit him, so. If I see a message for it, I'll collect it, but I don't think I'm getting the other one back. Oh well, let's collect his stuff. Ooh, we got a head? Oh, that is awesome. Uh, so we got a corrupted heart, some hard skin. I think we got some more raw meat out of that. And a gorehound head. Now you're supposed to get a message. You can collect all the junk and stuff, everything. Oh, there's two of them here. Uh, you can actually get rid of these. They do take a minute to break. But you can get rid of these to prevent more of them spawning in. Which is why I probably should have got rid of, rid of the one next to the ship. Got that sound. 
and these ones also take a little while to break. I don't know if these allow those to come back, or if these help with spawning, or what? But yeah, you get the same sound effect for all of them. You also get stuff from them when you break them. But apparently they're important, but yeah. Purple black disgusting slime. Sticky viscous substance. Oh, they broke the whole thing. That works. Let's get rid of this one. And we'll see what's in this chest. Sorry, dude. I didn't get to save you. As you can see in the lower left corner, it actually says what build we are in. Uh, since this is early access, there will likely be a lot of changes. There will likely be much more stuff added, some stuff removed, uh, details changed. We will just have to wait and see. Got old chest. What do we got? Just some coins. We're up to 53 coins. Now, I'm actually moving much quicker through here than I did when I first came through. Because I think when I first proceeded through here, I collected everything you could you could imagine. And, oh my gosh. I didn't mine everything. I didn't chop down every tree. But even, even then, I collected the rabbits. I collected the fox. I collected everything you see. And uh, I actually wound up killing one of the rabbits by accident. Because... I didn't know you had to switch to the tranquilizers. And I didn't know they looked different. And yeah, I, I killed one of the rabbits. I didn't mean to. I was not trying to be mean. You. What's the button? Look at this disgusting thing. I have no idea what these are. But apparently they go away when we do it. I agree. What is your name, by the way? I really would like to know. Oh, we should probably grab some logs. <laughs> we have a couple, but we're gonna, we're gonna need some more. Luckily, most of the trees don't take too long to get chopped down, and you get a decent amount of logs out of them. Now we're getting up to one of my favorite parts. Now we can actually collect like all this. And these we will actually all need. Uh, we can use the campfire. There's another body there. We can use the campfire to cook up the meats. I'm gonna wait for now because it just takes up another inventory spot. And we have all the junk and food that we got from the, uh, the old base. That we can eat for now. Butterflies. Apparently these are going to be something of importance, I'm guessing. As signified by the butterflies that are around all of them. But as of right now, you cannot collect them or anything. But every single one I've found has butterflies. So I have a feeling that means something. Now. Tell me you would not love to run around in the world in this. <laughs> I would love to get inside this thing and just plow through everything in front of me. I love it, Kundash. Ah. Uh, I guess I believe that's a Kundash. It, it should be the Kundash. It's definitely a Lamborghini. Now I'm starting to think. Is that the Kundash or is that the Diablo? I think I usually get those two mixed up. Oh, that's gotta be the Kundash. Okay, so here we can actually collect almost everything, because a lot of this stuff is actually important. So I can collect that, that, collect those. Doggy bowl and house we cannot collect. Uh, I think there's, yeah, some drinks in here. I'll take that. Oh, hi! 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 I didn't see you! I've never seen you before! Can I take you with me? I mean, I can. 
but it's it's not going to be nice for you. You're you're not going to like this. This is going to hurt. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. So, when you shoot it with a tranquilizer, what it actually does is it knocks it out and it puts it makes it an item that you can carry in your inventory. So, we're going to take that doggy with us. He's a cutie. Uh, we're going to take the dog with us and we're going to cure it and have it running around our new base once we get there. Now, I think there's some stuff in here that we can collect. Yes, there's some more papers. More papers, another drink, a beer. There's a skeleton, mattress that we can't do anything with. There it is. Tools. Tools are always good. Tool set one. What was the one we got at the base? That's antibiotics. Tool set three. Okay. Gas can. I think that's about it for what we can collect here. Ooh, more arrows. Always collect arrows. Wow, that tree took a while to chop down, and it only gave me one more log than the last one. Yeah, let's continue on down the road. I know there's a lot of stuff I'm missing. I'm pretty sure there's at least one or two things that are storyline that I'm missing. More arrows. But this is another key location that we need to collect pretty much everything here. Hammer, nails, and bolts. Uh, water pump. Oh, we have some empty bottles. Perfect. Let's go ahead and fill all of those. You have to stay in the inventory while they're filling, which I think is a little bit greedy. <laughs> I don't know. Not, not greedy, but a little bit punishing if you're making a lot of something. There's some cows. Yeah. Now this is going to be an important location for us for a little while. Go ahead and grab all this stuff. We'll take the cloth out from under you. Uh, let's see. And here, there's nothing there. Uh, this place is something we're going to have to make. A basic workshop. We can actually use this to make a workshop, I think. Scratching posts. Let's close some of these because that is a lot of things that we don't need to see right now. Actually, I'm leaving materials open. Containers, furniture, buildings, structures, fences, enrichments, miscellaneous, craft stations. Okay, basic workshop. What else do we need? We need timber and tool set two. So we can craft timber. As long as we have logs on us, we can craft timber, as you can see right here. It just takes one log for six timber. So we can make that pretty easy. But this is a blacksmith. The blacksmith, we need a bunch of stuff to get. And uh, we need brick. Brick, I found, is probably one of the hardest early game materials to get. Now, another important thing here is... Uh, the horse. Hello, Chrome. Nah, I just put the Hello Moto <laughs> thing in my head. <laughs> okay, there's a there there's a random thing. Animal feast. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm gonna leave these girls here. We'll come back and get them later. They shouldn't die from anything. At least I don't think they will. They just like to lay down and take naps. These cows are so adorable. All three of them. Oh, they're adorable. Uh, we can take Chrome with us. Uh, we might for longer expeditions, but for right now, it's just going to be a little bit of a waste. We'll bring Chrome over later on because we are actually going to have some fighting in a minute. Yes, I'm giving a little bit of spoilers, but you know what? I'm... Oh, I can drop this tree. I thought this... 
I thought this was a decorative tree that you couldn't drop. There are some things like that. So like we grabbed one of these elderberry bushes earlier on. There are a couple of them that you cannot pick up that I guess are decorative. And I feel like that is a little bit of an, a, uh, a tease. <laughs> Especially considering some of them can be in annoying locations. Like places you might want to get rid of. Ooh, 25 logs. Look, more butterflies. Okay, let's continue on. I don't think there's anything else around that we specifically need to grab. Uh, there is nothing up here. So we're on our way to the land base where they're supposed to be stationed, where our colleagues are supposed to be stationed at Ohio. Hi, dude. Now these guys, they hurt. Oh, I missed. Ow. They hurt. Not much, but they hurt. Uh, now let's, let's grab our arrows back. And... Where's our third arrow? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm going to be careful because there's a lot of them around here. Uh, we got a corrupted heart out of him. That was it. And yeah, that's... that's eh. <laughs> Real descriptive, right? This is blue stuff. It's just flowers. Okay. That's fine. Flowers are fine. Now that there's a couple of these guys around, I don't know where any of them are. I just know they surprised the hell out of me when I was playing. I'm using Trank Arrows! I should not be using Trank Arrows. <laughs> Ow! There's a bear trap there. <laughs> What, what what did I pick up? Tool set two, okay. Oh my gosh, did I jump. Now that did a lot of damage. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use, where are they? Bandage, no, that's cloths. I don't have bandages? I thought I had bandages. I think we can craft them, but. Consumables, bandage. Now you have to click the mouse wheel to use items in your inventory, which I think is a little bit strange. Just takes cloth and alcohol. Okay, good to know. Don't drink the alcohol. Uh, anything in here? Yes. I'll take those. But as you can see, I didn't collect everything <laughs> along the way, and look how full my inventory is. Some rubber, metal wire, and metal scraps. Where are these guys? Where are these guys at? Where are you guys? By the way, the music in this game is actually kind of nice, but also annoying because it's constant. So, maybe if there's a little bit less ambient music. I'm like scared to stop and do anything because I don't know where these guys are. Like they 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 just kind of appeared out of nowhere when I was coming through here. And yeah, uh these these guys can uh, be scary when you just turn around and one of them's just standing there. <laughs> it's, it's not exactly the best thing for uh late night gaming, which is what I tend to do. <laughs> 
Um, let's, uh, cautiously work our way around. Oh, I see another guy. I see him. I see him. Now, I also have determined that there's not really a good way to hide. You have to wait until it turns red. Fire. <laughs> so I shot three at him. Looks like one of them went through his leg. I'm fine with that. Oh my god, that sound effect. <laughs> that sound effect is so disgusting. Check out the hot air balloon over there. Some gravel. Now see, there's more of these flowers, and this is what I mean by it. They seem to be important, but not implemented. Is that they all have butterflies. Varying colors of butterflies. Maybe that is an indicator of something. Uh, ooh, what's this? Timber! I'll take all the timber I can find. Means less trees I have to chop. Yeah, there should be another guy over here. I think. A fight? Uh, where, where, he's, where's, where is he? Now I know there's more guys over there. I really don't want to go through there right now. Uh, he should be somewhere up there. I am like scared to do anything right now because this this part of the game actually freaks me out a little bit. The rest of it is actually pretty peaceful. But this part scares the bejesus out of me every time. Because these guys are so fast. If you let them sneak up on you, yeah, you're you're uh you're gonna be in for a world of hurt. Okay, so there's some vines covering this thing. Not too worried about that. Um The the house yeah, it's getting to be nightfall too. Not a good time for this. Someone hurt me. Where is he? Where is he? Oh my god, these guys are so creepy and scary. Okay, developers, you've made these people so ridiculous. That transition to night is actually pretty smooth. I, I just don't want him, like, dropping on top of me. So, there's actually a word from the developers saying, do not use the melee combat. <laughs> oh! That moonlight. <laughs> Where is he? There he is! And he is faster than you are, so your best bet is just shoot him. Yeah, look at this! Okay. Oh. Seeing these guys come flying through the bushes is just ridiculous. So I will take most of my arrows back.
Okay, we got a maul from him. We got a crowbar. That's a good thing, because it's a hammer. Oh. Uh, oh. This game... This part of the game creeps me out a bit. I think there's one more guy up here. I don't know where he's at, though. Maybe up here? <laughs> now, the house is kind of important, but not really important right now. <laughs> so, if we come up here, it's a pretty good safe area. And, uh, yeah. We can use this hot air balloon to actually travel around. I have not used it yet. But we need to make sure we've got no bad guys around here. Because <laughs> those guys will kill us so fast. And we spawn all the way back at the crash ship. So, I'm going to leave that for next time. That's it for this time, guys. If you liked it, the like button below. If not, let me know if you don't like it in the comments. And please excuse me for having already played through this part of the game. From this point on, it's going to be mostly stuff that I don't know, uh, except for clearing out this place. Uh, beyond that, I really don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I've got a grasp of the basics, but that's about it. So, like I said, that's it for this time, guys. I will see you guys next time. Oh, pretty good vantage point right here, actually. What's that? Nothing. Later, guys.